Rev up your engines. Livio EJ says, Scotty, I'm in Tanzania, and I'm thinking about buying a mini car, either Mini Cooper, Country Runner Clubman. Are they good cars? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> you know, they're made in England, but BMW makes them. Uh, my neighbor's from England, and she had an original Mini when she lived there, and she's had a couple of Minis here, and they just seem to fall apart. The wirings are really cheap, and they start to degrade over time. The first one she had, the engine blew up on it. I mean, they're really weak vehicles. They look cute, and people buy them because they look cute, but really, they're not that well-made vehicles. They just aren't. I personally... Eh, I wouldn't buy one. Uh, if you do buy one, get a used one. You'll get it cheap enough. If it's low mileage, it might last a while. But let's say you buy a brand new one. Try to sell it when it's six years old. You'll lose about 70, 80% of your investment because they really don't have very good resale value because they aren't that good cars, really. Gary B says, I got a 2010 Hyundai Elantra. The headlights seem to dim in and out. Do we have an alternator problem? Well, you might. Here's the easy thing. If you go to any place that checks alternators and batteries free like AutoZone, they will load test your battery and they'll load test your alternator and they do it absolutely free. Start there. Could be the alternator's going weak. Now, if it isn't, generally it means you have a ground wire problem into the headlights. If the ground wire doesn't ground right, they'll get dim and they'll go in and out. That'll often happen. But do check the battery and alternator first. Joseph, Joseph says, I have a 2012 Acura TL base. During cold startup, I hear a gurgling sound like a water drain. It goes away, happens in a second. It doesn't affect driving. What could it be? Okay, there's only really two things can do that. If your cooling system is a little bit low of coolant, that means the heater core will have some air in the top of it. And as the water surges through as your car starts and the water pump starts pumping, you'll hear a gurgling. So check, maybe you're low on coolant. Check that. Now, if it's not that, it's your air conditioning system. The air conditioning system pumps refrigerant. And if the refrigerant is either low or... If your system's just old and that thing is seven years old, sometimes as the valve opens, the refrigerant gurgles a little. And if it blows cold air, you can just ignore it. A lot of cars do that as they age. That's just something that happens to them. Blade Brown says, I got a 2009 Chevy Equinox. I've had it for five and a half years, and ever since I got it, it shudders when I get up to about 45. Any clue what could be causing this? Well, on those... It's often the automatic transmission starting to go out. Now, of course, you want to check the obvious things like see if your front end is aligned correctly and your tires aren't out of balance. Out of balance tires will do that. Lots of things can do that. But a lot of times on those, it's the transmission. When it shifts there, they're notorious for having weak transmission. And if that's the case, hey, you've had it for a while. Uh, just live with it because to rebuild one of those transmission costs an awful lot of money. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.